welcome to a brand new vlog. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a fridge tour. And instead of doing it in my Beverly Hills home, I thought I'll do it at the beach house because I have three fridges here. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. So the first one is a wine fridge or a water fridge. So basically I have Perrier in here, different flavors. I have a little ice wine for friends when they're able to come over so we can have some cocktails. Um, white wine, Pellegrino, more Perrier. It's just so nice and you can set it at just the right temperature for wine or I like my I like my Perriers really cold or when I drink white wine, I like it really cold. So I can set it to the exact temperature that I want. And it has so much room, I can even put more things down here. But again, because of what's going on with the quarantine, I'm only getting what's essential and what's needed. Um, it's beautiful, it's sleek, and I kind of love it because it's in the bar area. All the glasses are up here, and when your friends and family come over, obviously not now, but when they come over, you can easily open this up and serve them a nice refreshment, whether it's Pellegrino, Perrier, or a nice glass of white wine at just the right temperature, and it's right underneath the bar area, so you can go ahead and reach for the glasses. just really convenient, and it just sets a nice tone for the house. And without further ado, let's go see my main refrigerator and freezer. I don't have too much in there because remember, it's the quarantine. I am on the younger, healthier side and I'm just here by myself until Nicolette joins me. So I only get what is the basic necessities for a good week because I don't want to be out in the grocery store every day. So it's not that full, but I have plenty in there. So let's see. First, let's start with the refrigerator. So the top shelf, I have some orange juice, some organic. Is this lemon or lime? Because Oh, it's lime because you guys know I always have that problem. Rayo's homemade sauce. You guys saw that. I use it in my lasagna recipe. Some eggs because they always come in handy. And I love, I love hummus. This is a roasted pine nut one. This one is basil pesto. It goes good on even just basic noodles or you can dip bread in it if you like. And cold brew because I'm not going to Starbucks. I'm making my coffees at home and this is what I was able to find. So you guys also know that I love water with a little sparkling water with lemons and limes in it. So I prepared that today. So that's gonna be good for the whole day. I got some eggplants to so possibly barbecue later, garlic, some chicken. Um, I have a Mediterranean garlic marinade. It's such a good marinade, by the way, you guys. This one for chicken, you just throw it on the chicken. It is so delicious. And then I brought some yogurt. I brought a bit packet because I do love yogurt. And I'm gonna do this recipe with a yogurt marinated chicken for you guys. So look out for that in one of my cooking videos. I have some rosemary, which I'm gonna go ahead and add to that recipe. In this area, I have some cheese for Blair. She loves cream cheese and bagels. And Nicolette always, um, and these, the tortillas are for Blair as well. So this is pretty much Blair's section, the basic cheeses. Down here, we have some guacamole from Whole Foods, which is really fresh. Some pico de gallo, which once in a while, you guys know I like to dabble in chips. And I also have some, because we still have to eat healthy. I got some butter lettuce. I love my basic salads and so do the girls. I have an onion for when I want to cook the chicken, celery for my infamous celery salads, little baby potatoes, and then continuing on to the health streak. So I might roast some tomatoes later, some shiitake mushrooms, asparagus, and I have more garlic and more rosemary. And then in this shelf, I have some chicken that I bought. So we have enough for the week so I don't have to go back to the store. Some pasta for Blair because she does love her pasta. And on the bottom shelf, I just have some carrots, a lemon, some more baby potatoes and rosemary. On this side, we have ketchup for Blair's fries, dressing, a little soy dressing. Sometimes I like to marinate chicken in that, some avocado oil. You guys know how much I love avocado, so healthy for you. Some mustard, some other soy products. Um, you guys know I have to have tapatio because my girls are addicted, addicted, addicted. Kalamata, Kalamata olives for me. Apple cider vinegar, you guys know, I take the few shots here and there, and more olives, and that's about it. Next, let's go into the freezer. So, oh, see, and again, 
again, I have the basics. I got a lot of, oh, that one, my girls are both addicted to this halo top because it's just so healthy for you and so good. Nicolette and Blair both love um, ground turkey breasts in their tacos, so I got a couple of those and froze them so they wouldn't go bad. I got white rice for Blair, brown rice, and those are easy to make, and Blair loves like Belgian pastry waffles. I got a whole bread so that we could just like slice it up and cut it up as we need. And again, I put it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. Ice, of course, for my water. And then Blair loves these. Let me see what they have. Oh, she loves these brioche bread. Again, I'm freezing everything just to make sure they last as long as possible during this quarantine time. I have my little ice section here full of ice. Next section, I have sweet potato fries. You guys know how much my girls love those. And then I have a chicken pot pie. And we have little sausage links from way before the quarantine. Because when I entertain, I like to have those for people to snack on. And then here's some fresh calamari, which one of my neighbors gave me. Um, and I might try to figure out a recipe how to barbecue it. Because Nicolette loves calamari. I'm not sure if Claire does or not, but I think she's coming around to it. And again, just the basics, nothing extra in here. All right, you guys, now let's go to my third refrigerator. And this is a special one, so follow me. You guys, New Air sent me this refrigerator. It's an outdoor refrigerator, and I love it. I'm going to be doing a lot of entertaining once this quarantine's over, so I filled it up with Pellegrino. I had a lot of wine in the house, so I figured I might as well just put it in here. My friends have said how much they can't wait to come and stay for the weekend. Obviously, my mom, dad, and my grandmother wants the quarantine's over. So this is a dual refrigerator. The top one's made for wine, beverages, whatnot, and the lower one is meant for food. I also put some Voss water down there just because they're so long and I didn't have enough room in there. I figured they'll be just fine. These are some of the ingredients that I'm going to barbecue for you guys in tomorrow's video. So watch out for that. And voila! You guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed my fridge tour. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't liked it, make sure you do and leave comments down below if you want to see more videos like this, if you want a fridge tour in my Beverly Hills home and a pantry tour. I love you guys so much and don't forget, keep cooking!